So when you're out adventuring, keep an eye out for plants and herbs because we always need them okay. for crafting food. Any particular kind that of particular interest? Um, herbs like rosemary, um, parsley, Sage. celery. <laughs> yeah. well, so, so one of the wackinesses of this game is that plants will give you items that very often have nothing to do with what the plant looks like okay so here the wild rice actually looks like wild rice yeah but someplace else you might have just some weird grass looking thing and you harvest it it'll give you wild rice you know that's strange so, yeah well, the other problem with that is is that because of the latest update that they've just done it's really wrecked the metadata because our server was built pre-update. So without actually having the grid, each grid having its own biome, instead our islands have their in each of their own biome. So it's messed up all the metadata. Yeah. So a lot of our items that it says, okay, well, I'm going to pick this and it should be rice and it ends up being partially. Yeah. Um, tin sometimes comes up as copper. It's just really weird. Hmm. You got your own sprinkler system over there? Yep. <laughs> water yeah. the water uh, the plants? Yeah. I gotta harvest That's the garden cool. again. Right. I'm gonna step inside where it's safe here. I've got an AFK for a moment. Here I All right. What's with the little beds? <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's the peachy furniture bench, and there's little beds and couches and stuff sitting on them. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just to uh, show you what can be made in some of them. Oh, it's I just, get you. That's just kind of a decoration side of it. Oh, okay. It's not doll furniture for... No, no. <laughs> you make all types of stuff with that. That's cool. Okay. I gotta make a bunch of ale and drink over the creek. But yeah, and there's so many different mods that we have right now. Yeah. That give, that give us so many different types of building stuff. Well, that's a seed. Um, so, I mean, it's like the mod that I have over here. Um, the bench that I have outside here. Yeah. Um, where the heck am I? I'm all turned around. I so, see. Out, outside here, there's this little ship-looking bench. Oh, yeah. This makes all kinds of different other things. And the one behind you makes a whole bunch of different other ones. The one you're standing on. Okay. Um, the one you're standing on is the Improved Settlements mod bench. It'll make everything vanilla plus everything that's in the mod. Okay. So, um, I didn't realize that when I placed the other one down. Otherwise, I would have just put this one in its place. Um, but it's outside for now until I rebuild the city properly. You can take things apart, though. I take them. Some things you can actually take apart and pick them up. Other things, you have to demolish them. And anything you pick up, like a bench that says pick up, yeah. make sure you pull the inventory out of it first. 
Okay. Because if you don't, you will lose that inventory. Not good. So, just a heads up. Gotcha. So if you, um... <laughs> I was just going to say, if you hit F2, you'll <laughs> begin to dance a hornpipe. <laughs> F2? Yep. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> And the more of them you unlock, the more you get to do. <laughs> yep. That's so. funny. There's so much friggin' material over here. Yeah. But if we step out here... Okay, somehow I got in third person now. Yeah, if you roll your mouse forward, it'll put you in first person again. Oh, okay, got it. Yep. So, because your mouse wheel will basically pull you back and forward into first and third person. So this right here that we're standing on is a shipyard. Okay. All right, which is where obviously we build ships. If you look down at the deck and tap E, you'll see it has its own inventory. And this is oh, wow. where we craft sloops and schooners. And basically, uh, to craft a ship, you have to have unlocked the appropriate ship level, you know, and yeah. you put the materials in here and then select the ship. And what it'll do is it'll place the ship frame here in the center opening. And then what we do is we add various parts to it to complete it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to step over here to where Necros is building a galleon. Oh wow, a big ship. <laughs> really yeah. big ship. Big, big ship. <laughs> big ship. Really, really big ship. Yep. Ooh. Hi, yep. Be careful not to fall in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> careful the hole. Ah! <laughs> but. Fancy. So you can see there will be scaffolding that goes all the way around for to be able to place the different the different panels and stuff it takes it takes a while to make a galleon <laughs> oh it takes huge amounts of materials and Luckily, if we, we have an infinite source as a we oh shoot <laughs> how do i get over here i think we got to jump yeah yep. Hick. yeah if he was actually gathering all these materials by hand which we've done yeah it takes days Jesus. Unless you have a lot of people working at it with you. He's wow. actually elephant. He's actually been building that by himself all uh, throughout the day today until the yep. server went down. Jesus. So uh, oh, that's the ship, ship that we came over on the the Mad Annie is a schooner. But you can see the galleon is just huge in comparison. Oh yeah. It also turns slower. It has six yeah. snails. Yep. But it packs a hell of a lot more firepower. Oh, I'm sure. Yep. And can take a lot more. Oop, there goes Jeff. Are we losing and or something? If you look down, you can see there's multiple decks to it. Yeah. So you can really have a hellaciously big uh, crew, I would imagine. 52 cannons. Jeez. Yeah, the the galleon can can carry 52 cannons one crew member for each of those cannons plus one crew member for each of the sails plus one for the steering wheel mm -hmm. so and however many extra cannons on uh, the top deck yep. yeah you'll probably not be able to all together to jump up there yeah 59 uh, but the thing is, is i don't you can only fit so many cannons on the upper decks. Yep. Um, and when you're using large cannons, they get bolted down. Right. And you can't place them on ceiling tiles that are um, on the upper deck. You can only use medium cannons up there. How many ship types can you can you make? There are sloops, schooners. Brigantines and galleons. Hmm. 
No frigates. Yeah, there's, the raft, there's the raft in the dinghy as well. No frigates, huh? Damn. Not yet. Not yet. But this guy here is a crew recruiter. Ah. And if you've ever seen Big Trouble in Little China, he may have a very familiar face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Kurt Russell? Yeah, he does. Like, oh my god, it's Kurt Russell. But um, if you step up to him and you tap E, what you'll see is that from him, that this is where we get our, our various crew members. I see. And so. they cost five gold each. And then, of course, you pay them one gold every so many hours as a wage. Um, gathering gold, there's a number of different ways to get gold. You can get gold by finding treasure maps and going to the treasure map locations, defeating some of the army of the damned, and then finding a chest. If you are fishing, when you catch fish, you'll also catch a few gold pieces. Oh, that's cool. Um, you can also, if you've got a shovel and you find the right kind of uh, territory, you can dig and occasionally find gold pieces. And then the uh, floating wreckage, the flotsam that you'll find out in the water, they're basically floating crates and they'll glow a certain color, you know, yellow or, or blue or purple or whatever. We'll, we'll catch them with our grappling hook and pull them in and they'll have a little bit of gold, usually a, a food item of some sort and then maybe blueprints. Awesome. So um, blueprints come in multiple levels there's common journeymen and so on and so forth and the difference in the levels comes down to uh resource types so like uh, a common blueprint will say need you know stone thatch and wood all right yeah. a journeyman blueprint will want two kinds of stone resource two kinds of wood resource two kinds of thatch resource and so it doesn't make a difference what kind of stone it is as long as it's two different kinds like right. that. And so that's how you end up getting stuff that has like higher durability or, you know, some sort of benefit. Um, these guys that you'll see out here happily chipping away at rocks and doing all that, these are actually from a, a mod and it's causing them to actually gather resources for us that are then being transferred to one of the containers inside. I see. And cool. so they're a huge help because instead of us having to go out and, and chop 7,000 trees to get enough materials to build a ship, these guys are doing all the material gathering for us. Cool. So. The Brute Squad. <laughs> yep. The Brute Squad. And if you guys make the trip over here, these guys have a monster friggin' city going over here. What? Over where Freeport is? Yep. Yep. Yeah, come on this way, Huck. Who's doing it? Uh, Freakbird and uh, I... It's Raz and no, uh, no, it's Raz's right. cousin yeah. and, and his girlfriend. They've got their own little settlement started over here. Oh. <laughs> but I know it's a it's a lot to to kinda of take in initially, but Yeah, there is a lot, but then arcs the same way. It sometimes gets yeah, and, overwhelming. And it, so, if you if you start up the game, one of the options you'll have is basically a single player map. Yeah. And playing single player uh, is is a great opportunity to to you know dig into it and and figure out how everything works. You start out on a free port. 
so in single player you actually will have the full official map which is like twelve sectors by twelve sectors and uh it's freaking huge jeez Elephant. absolutely vast to sail from one end of the map to the other uh takes what like the hell? six real hours why is he all bloody who that elephant oh he's not he's painted oh he's not. yeah i was gonna say he's he's got color but i don't think he's bloody <laughs> he's got like tribal stripes yep antler type tusks <laughs> jesus So these guys have like literally gone crazy over here. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! Why does Freakbird always have to show off? <laughs> it's, it's actually, the building in the design yeah. is more um, Raz's cousin Steve and his girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, they are just crazy with what they can do with the uh, pieces. It's uh, unbelievable. Freak's the place. That's part of the reason why I want to get Ericeth in here because I know she likes to build construction stuff like this and make it yeah. look pretty. Uh, Dula, there's a dead body in the front door. <laughs> Actually, um, when you log off of the server, your character goes to sleep. Ah, uh, that's and probably so, freak. Um, you guys got bubbles around your head yet? Yeah. You do. I see them. Someone's been drinking. Yeah. The tavern, the tavern drink. So. But yeah, when you um, when you log out, your character basically drops to the floor and goes to sleep. I see. What in the world is this person doing? Oh, just a NPC hanging out. <laughs> yeah, freak's got him sitting there reading a the book. He has always got to show off. Look at this. He's even got a freaking microwave or something. <laughs> uh, food preserving box. But yeah. but yeah, they got they got quite the build going over here. Yeah, always make sure you shut doors behind you, especially where people are sleeping. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I figured. Uh, yeah, well, Dula cool. got me in the habit of that a long time ago, right? <laughs> so this is their this is their main ship building area. Um, the way they've got it set up. This place is cool. Fancy lanterns and oh, yep, they got a tuna. <laughs> a tuna. A yeah, tuna up, up on the wall. Oh, do they? Yeah. Look. Oh. Look up top. Oh, <laughs> of course not. Of course they do. <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's a tuna. They, they've got it set up like I do. You can come right out to the shipyard. They've got a smithy and a loom out there on the outside for doing that stuff. I mean... Small smithy in here. Yeah. They've got their forge. Then if you go downstairs, they got a whole kitchen area. I mean, they've they've really, like, decked everything out. No kidding. Jeez. Make, like, makes you feel like, you know... <laughs> oh, we have a great-looking place. And you go there, and it's like looking at, you know... <laughs> you're like, uh... Yeah. And then this is Freak's Tavern. Freak's Tavern. Is that where the bubbles are coming from? Yep. <laughs> What's with the elephants? Are they his or something? They're we're they're working on taming them. Mm. Yep. Uh, and then we got this little chicken coop here. Oh, now we got bubbles. <laughs> yeah. couple of campfires there for some reason. Yeah. Freak uses them to produce coal. Surprised he hasn't got all this automated. <laughs> it's a lot of it is. This is Sh Freak's little <sighs> battle sloop. He's got it armored to the teeth. Jesus. Um, and his other ship where the hell? Oh, it's on another island. That's right. His schooner is the same way. He's got it uh, armored like that. Jesus. Looks like... Good lord. <laughs> I told him he ought to just remove the mast on it and try to uh, use it as a submarine. Really? <laughs> and, uh, well, he's he's done that a couple of times. He sunk a few to the bottom. Mm. 
Because he had to try to see if he could do it. No, no, he didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> oh. Too heavy? Nope. He got blown out of the water. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know why they have this area here. Um, why they had it set up other than maybe to come up here and harvest the trees. Yeah. Um, they've got another one over here. That Ooh, a tortoise. Oh, that's cool. I like the tortoise. I just want to hurry up and get to the glider suit so I can climb up here and jump off. I'm riding a turtle. <laughs> oh, if you want a glider suit, I can make one. No, you shouldn't have told me that. I love the gliders. Gliders? Whoa. I find them to be a, a fun. They are very fun. Whee! This, oh, wow. Splash Where's down. This? I'm Where does this go? Old. I found another set of staircases over here. Let's see what's up here. Freak bird's always showing off. I'm sorry. <laughs> you sit there and you learn. I'm I, sorry. I can see it now. I'm like, oh, wow, I've got this. And he's like, oh, yeah? <laughs> Look what I have. Yeah, this is another upper portion of the island, probably like you said, trees. Quite the view from up here. Let's see the city he's got going down there. Did we lose somebody? <laughs> 